Hey guys, welcome to Herding Little Cows to the Glory of God. It is April 15th, 16th, 16th April 16th, and I am 35 and a half weeks pregnant. I'm doing this pregnancy update because I had a midwife appointment tonight. So we have, an, we had an ultrasound. So people who are new here, um, I'm Sarah, married to Mark, who's behind the camera. We have a total of, this is baby number 10. So our oldest is 28 all the way down to this baby. So I had an ultrasound today because um, I am older. <laughs> I'm 41, so I'm a geriatric pregnancy. And I have the, on, I'm on the edge of gestational diabetes. So I have to just watch that I don't eat too many carbs and my numbers are in with good range. So just exercise and diet, I can manage that. But anyway, because of all of that, they want me to have regular ultrasounds. I'm not doing ultrasounds as often as they would have me doing them, but I am doing them during this part of the pregnancy. So anyway, I am 35 and a half weeks. At the ultrasound today, they give you, I think it's like 20 minutes, 30 minutes, I don't know, for them to get these different numbers. It's kind of like an APGAR score, but on a biophysical profile, they want to see baby practice breathing. They want to see baby moving different things. You can get an eight out of eight and baby performed very well in that. In the first few minutes, she was able to get all those readings that she needed to get. So he's doing really well. Um, his name's Elisha Courage. He has a name. <laughs> and then we also had a growth ultrasound because of the gestational diabetes. They want to make sure that he's not growing too fast. And so he's in the 55th percentile, five pounds, 12 ounces as of today. I know those numbers aren't terribly accurate, but that's what they're measuring him at, which just means that they're not going to want to induce because he's too large <laughs> because he's just good normal size for us. So knowing that we have four and a half weeks left, that would put baby at just over eight pounds when he's born, which is normal for my babies. Um, what else happened? He did all, he did all the stuff, but didn't let us see his face because he is in the exact right position for delivery, which is great, but he was hiding his face. We got to see his ears and then he even covered those up so you couldn't see those, um, but he was moving and doing great. So then I went to my midwife appointment and she said the ultrasound looked great. Um, I'm measuring 35 weeks fundal height and my blood pressure was good, even though the first machine told me my blood pressure was bad. <laughs> it might have been an operator um, error. That was, that was my fault. You put on the cuff at the appointments that I go to, they have like a, uh, automatic cuff mm -hmm. that you put on and it does your thing and it was reading 139 over 93 or something like so that my which my blood pressure in pregnancy is usually very low so I told the nurse I wanted her to wait a few minutes and then take my blood pressure manually and she did that and it was 90 over 60 so <laughs> it was okay um I haven't gained weight this pregnancy I've actually lost a little weight but I'm eating really well getting all the calories that I need during the day um baby's just taking it all in <laughs> and he's growing well so that's good and what else I don't remember baby's in a good position we um talked to the midwife about some things just coming up with labor and you know timing on those things and we have some um good things going on there just there's lots of kids here at home and I want to be able to be home as long in labor as I can Virginia and Wayland are hopefully going to be here. Virginia is our oldest daughter. She's 20 and she's, they're hopefully going to be here when baby's born, but they're only getting here three days before my due date. So we'll see if baby decides to wait. Um, no reason. Seven months long. She'll be seven months long. No reason to think baby's coming early. Just, I know that babies are fickle and we've had a baby gestation wise as early as next Wednesday <laughs> for baby. So we're just making plans, you know, in case. And is there anything else? Our hospital's letting siblings come in this time when we had Gideon over there two years ago. Um, COVID rules were making it so the siblings couldn't come visit. And this time baby siblings can come visit baby. So they're excited to be able to come to the hospital and see that. And just trying to finish all the last minute baby things. I need to get the car wash, the car seat washed. It's not expired. We checked it. <clears throat> I need to get the baby clothes up and pick out what we need to wash those. Um, just stuff like that. Pack a hospital bag. Pack a hospital bag. Yeah, we should probably do that. <laughs> um, just kind of little random things like that that we have to do. But that's what's going on. Any other 
updates on that? I have no idea. I'm I tired. It's all. late. We just wanted to update you guys. If you have any more questions, ask below. We'll see you guys next time on Herding Little Cows to the Glory of God.